Hello there, oh, welcome to my views and news. Three new stories. Firstly, Fano fighter this morning entered a main city in West Gujum zone of the Amhara region. Fighting went on for several hours in the city where Fano fighters uh, suffered uh, some losses a few months ago when they were hit by drones. Secondly, uh, Getachu SFA, former Ethiopian intelligence agency chief, who is from Tegarai, is he back? A picture is, is in circulation showing as if he is there in Tegarai uh, taking part in activities. He was pronounced dead, by the way, by pro government sources two years ago. Thirdly, UAE. Jubaland relations. Why is that? Somalia's federal member states are so powerful that they are reaching direct agreements with other countries without taking Mogadishu on board. Is UAE arming some federal member states of Somalia and uh, would that weaken the already fragile? Uh, control of Mogadishu government over the country. Firstly, viewers, uh, Fano groups entered a city in the Amhara region this morning. People would say, Sajid, you say Fano enter, Fano, then, Fano, then you say Fano leave. There's no point in reporting this type of stuff. They have been entering and leaving towns for almost a year. Yeah, and their capabilities could not be degraded. This is the point that military operation ongoing for more than a year now. Military claiming that it has inflicted heavy losses on Fano. Yes, Fano suffered some losses. One commander died. One Asagad Mekonan arrested. Uh, two main commanders so far Fano lost. But still Fano has the capability to enter any town city in the Amhara region. That just shows that this conflict is set to go on. Fano groups publicly say they don't want to hold on to town cities. They don't want to enhance the area under their control. They are not interested in territorial gains. They want to make the region ungovernable. They want chaos here. Chaos suits them. They'll be able to take over Bahirdar if there is no government. They want to make the government insignificant. Whether it's war as a government, Zonal government or federal government. That is why they enter town cities, they attack government office building, they attack police officers, police stations, they rob everything they leave. Uh, yeah, the strategy is not short term, it's a long strategy, but uh, obviously it is weakening the government. Government's writ is being challenged by the uh, Fano, by, by Fano fighters across the Mahari. This morning they entered Finote Silam. Finote Silam is situated in West Gujam zone of the Amhara region for several hours. Uh, fighting went on in Finote Silam. Fano fighters took control of some parts of Finote Silam. It was not in the outskirts. The fighting was in, right in the, the city. If you remember a few months ago, drone strikes were conducted on Fano fighters in Finote Silam. They suffered losses. A vehicle was hit. Dozens of Fano fighters were injured and killed in that drone strike. Uh, will Fano fighters retreat from Prophet Salaam? Yes, they'll definitely retreat because new military enforcements have been seen heading towards Prophet Salaam. Fano fighters entered Prophet Salaam from Kwarat side. From Kwarat, they advanced towards Prophet Salaam, the military trying to push them out of the city. Secondly, we heard is uh, Getacho SFA. Where is he? He's, he's from Tegarai. He worked as Ethiopian intelligence agency chief, head of uh, NIS, Ethiopian intelligence agency, which is now led by Ridwan Hussain. For around 17 years, Getacho SFA worked as the head of uh, Ethiopian intelligence agency, one of the most Powerful institutions in Ethiopia. He was accused of human rights abuses. He uh, was put under sanctions too, if I'm not wrong. Bim Abi came to power uh, 
some proceedings, legal proceedings were initiated against uh, Gitacho Asifa. He fled the capital, he fled towards Makale, he fled to Tegarai. Then war broke out. During the war, obviously, he fought alongside GDF. Uh, and we heard rumors that the man had been killed and buried. I had a video on that I remember three years ago, but that rumor could not be confirmed. Ethiopian uh, government backed sources claim that Gitach OSF had been killed and buried in an unknown location, undisclosed location. We don't know, but for the last two days, a picture is in circulation showing uh, a picture with subtitles that uh, Gitach OSF is back. And he's attending meetings. Uh, but the picture in circulation is not that of Gitacho SF. I have not seen him so far. Where is he? I don't know. The picture which is being shared is that of a man uh, who is a TPLF senior leader, uh, but he's not Gitacho SF. Lastly, we was UAE. Somalia relations not very good. Obviously, UAE is backing Somali land government. It built Berbera port. It won't divert Ethiopian cargo from Djibouti to Berbera port. Somalia believes that UAE is behind Ethiopia, Somali land government for understanding. Uh, in a few months ago, some UAE military officers came under attack at a military academy in Mogadishu. Uh, UAE has been suspending financial support for Somalia's security sector. But UAE is strengthening its ties with regional governments. UAE is not happy with Mogadishu, but it is backing uh, Jubbaland, it is backing uh, Pontland reportedly. UAE has given 150 military vehicles to Jubbaland government. Jubbaland government has shared pictures of the military vehicles delivered by the United Arab Emirates. UAE uh, has confirmed this delivery saying that this support will help Jubbaland forces in the fight against armed group Al-Shabaab. Jubbaland is training thousands of soldiers. 5,000 graduated this month reportedly. 7,000 recruited. So, one state is recruiting thousands of soldiers. Why? Because these states are fighting against uh, armed group Al-Shabaab. You can imagine how many soldiers are being trained in entire Somalia, trained and graduated. It means that uh, the main spending for Somali's government uh, is on security. Development will be put on the back burner. Why? Because uh, the government, the regional governments, they want to ensure that the armed group Al-Shabaab is eliminated. Mogadishu concerned because of uh, UAE's direct relations with uh, federal member states. Uh, Ethiopia does the same too, by the way. Ethiopia not on good terms with Mogadishu, but it has uh, friendly relations with uh, Pontland. Ethiopian troops are operating in southwest state in Jubbaland. To both states are opposing the withdrawal of Ethiopian troops from its from the territories. So these federal member states of Somalia, without consulting Mogadishu, they sign agreements with other countries. Foreign policy should be led by the federal government, by Mogadishu, not by regional states. Regional states cannot be given so much power that they can enter into agreements with other countries. This is what is happening in Ethiopia. And that it shows that uh, the federal member states are very strong in, in Somalia. Mogadishu weak. Mogadishu is, is trying to exercise its authority in entire Somalia. But some parts under Al-Shabaab, other parts under federal member states, who the federal member states don't uh, care what Somalia. Somalia's federal government thinks when they sign agreements with other countries.